So we're here in Dallas, Georgia for another house critique. This is right outside of Atlanta and we're looking at a pretty well-valued property here. So it's six bedrooms, four bathrooms, 3,800 square feet. It actually is deceptively larger than it looks on the outside. You've got a two-car garage, which really, they always say two-car garage, but really it's going to be for one. You've got brick facing on the outside, so that's just a thin layer of brick to make it look nice and neat. The base price is $307,990. Now this is the model, it's the Reynolds model, so it's going to be almost fully upgraded, so you're looking at around $500,000. So as soon as you walk in, it's nice and open. You've got the frame wall panels down on the lower portion of the walls and this is becoming extremely common in nicer homes uh, where he actually just added these to the house we just bought that we're renovating in uh, Harrisburg North Carolina we added those panels and it just completely changes uh, the look and feel of a room so in here you see the crown molding at the top is pretty large that's roughly six inches of crown molding there at the top of the ceiling and I really like it it adds a bit more depth so the flooring is really nice I like the play on the colors it's funny the paint in the front two rooms looks a little bit light green the color on the wall there looks more like a sandstone you come in here and I don't know if it's the lighting or what, but it looks more gray in this guest bedroom. So this guest suite down here is on the main level. All the other bedrooms are going to be on the second floor. So here in the guest suite, you've got your own bathroom that's kind of shared if guests are in the house. So far, everything looks great up until this point. So the shower is a little underwhelming. I don't know why they should have just ran the tile through the whole thing. I would have ran the tile on the floor. They just have the regular tub at the bottom. Very large vanity. But this is nice. This is per perfect for guests. They can just come over and pop in right to the room. Nice tall ceilings. So what's great is I would have to say this house, for the price, you're getting a lot of space. You're getting a lot of rooms. I think this dining area, you have the two windows, but it's really, really dark. So I really wish they would have done large windows there to lighten up the space. As you recall, this is a critique video. So realtors are always going through talking about how great things are, but... I think it's a, a, a different perspective that's needed to look for the little nuances that aren't so great. Like for instance, you have the tan backsplash with white, black, speckled countertops. I don't think those really go hand in hand. So you've got a ceiling fan, you have a nice fireplace. They left enough room to put a big screen up there on the wall I like how I actually like how that uh, the stonework on the fireplace didn't go to the ceiling because they left space where you can mount a TV and a lot of times it's just more difficult to mount into stone so I actually like that they left that gap but there's your door to the garage you've got your pantry offset over here which is a good distance from the kitchen I don't like when they do that in homes but they don't have anywhere else to put the pantry so it's it's way off over here by the garage. It was a good size. It was wire racks, but again, for the price, that's fine. I don't have I don't have an issue with that at all. You have a large island that could seat four. It's a massive, massive island. Now that we're upstairs, you've got the laundry, which is perfect. It's right by all the bedrooms. You don't have to carry it downstairs. Ooh, you've got an accent wall in here. I actually really like that color this is perfect for a kids room they're a pretty good size 
it's all carpet up here you noticed down on the main floor the guest bedroom also had carpet and that's a big thing for me I think you should have carpets in the bedrooms um, but in the walkways I don't like there being carpet just because of the continuous traffic now this is a cool flex room I like how that's curved there on the front it's just like the dining room or the formal living room I should say on the first floor so this could be a good flex room this would also be a really nice bedroom for somebody I would use it as the flex room too just because it's the second largest room on this floor besides the master so again you have the bathroom here that almost looks like drapes I think that's becoming more of a style here so you have your curtains <laughs> so it looks just like a regular curtains I kind of I kind of like it but the bathrooms are just pretty underwhelming it, I don't think the tile work is that great with the tub that they have in there but everything can't be perfect it is a good value for the price you're getting you're getting six bedrooms I mean you can't really complain about that too much so you've got pretty good light over here in the one side lighting up the bedroom some of the the only thing some of the doorways look pretty slim you've got 36 inch vanities in this Jack and Jill bathroom so those two rooms will share that bathroom again you had four bathrooms in the house this room is also a pretty good size one window but yeah, did anyone notice these doorways look, look at that, that does that, that looks pretty slim, doesn't it? Is that just me? All right, now we've got the master. Now this is very, very, very nice. And this is a very, very large master bedroom. Again, for the price, you're getting so much. Even if this is what they call a cookie cutter house, you're getting a fireplace in the master. You've got your own seating area. Yes, your house is going to be just like everyone else's. It's They're all going to be really close to each other. But if we just look at what you're getting on the inside, you're getting a ton of value. I also like how they did that TV as a, uh, as a picture. I, I really want to start doing that in the house, um, how the TV just looks like, a, like artwork. I think that's a really cool concept. I love the tray ceiling. This master is phenomenal. Lots of space. Again, can't argue with the size. Even if you're on top of your neighbor, there's probably a pool in the neighborhood. So now we've got the master bathroom. I've been trying to convince my wife to get a little seat like that in the bathroom. Because you don't have anywhere to sit. You're not going to sit on the tub. I think that's a great little feature for decoration. Now see how this shower's done? That's what the other shower should look like. They should look just like that with the glass and the uh, dark metal frame around it. If they, they should have copied that for the other bathrooms. Now we're going to go out to the back. As you can tell, you are right beside your neighbors. You've got a little bit of space. There's no fence. I would, I would really want to put up one, but you're facing just the side of the neighbor's house. You can notice they all look the same. But you've got a little bit of backyard space. It's easy to maintain this lawn so you're not outside cutting the grass for hours. So you've got everything you need. I didn't see any real problems with this house. For the, pr for the price, you're getting a ton of value. This is probably one of the best value priced homes that I've seen. So keep your eye on this neighborhood and hope you enjoyed the walkthrough.